Hey scholars, so today we're going to introduce something called borrowing when we're subtracting. Borrowing is when we do not have enough in our ones to take away. So if we have two, do we have enough to take five away from two? No. So we're going to be talking about what you do when you cannot subtract a number from it. So when we're doing our subtracting using our base 10 box, we're always going to draw our base 10 box to represent the number we're starting off with. So we're starting with the number 42. So I have my four tens and then my two ones. So now we need to get started. And remember, when we're subtracting, do we start with our tens or our ones? Right, we start over here. So we're saying that we have two, so we have our two ones. And we need to take away five. But do we have five over here to take away? No. So we're going to borrow, so we're going to go jump into our tens and we're going to take, borrow one whole group of ten and move it over here. So we're going to break these ten, that group of ten, into ten ones by itself. So all I did is I'm taking this group of ten, I'm crossing it out, and I'm moving it over here to make ten individual ones. So now we should have enough to take away five. So we're going to take, so we took from our tens, we don't have our four tens anymore because I moved this ten over here. So how many tens are left? Right, three. So we're going to change that four to a three. And we don't only have two ones now anymore. We have how many ones? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we no longer just have a two, we have 12 ones. Because all we did was take a 10 and move it over to our one side. Now we can subtract, so we have 12, we need to take five away. So we're gonna take our five, one, two, three, four, five away, and we're gonna see what are we left with. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when we have 12 and we take 5 away, we have 7. Now again, we're down to our 3 tens. How many of those tens do we need to take away? Right, we need to take 2 away. So when I take 2 away, I'm left with how many tens? Right, 1. So 42 minus 25 is 17. Alright, we're going to try this one. So 56, again. I represented my number 56. So I have my five tens and my six ones. And now when we go to our ones to subtract, we have six, but it wants us to take seven away. But we don't have seven ones that we can cross out. So this is when we do our barring. So we're gonna take our one ten. When I say by to ten, we're gonna move it all the way over here with our ones. So I'm going to add those 10 cubes. Over to here. So they're no longer on this side. We moved them over here. So now we can do our subtraction. But before we get started, we don't have five tens anymore. We have how many? Right, we have four. And we don't only have six cubes anymore. We added our 10 more. So how many do we have? So we had 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16. So we no longer have a 6, we have 16 1 cubes. Now we're ready to subtract. So we have 16 minus 7, so I need to take how many away? Right, 7. So I need to take out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we can see how many 1's do we have left. See, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 9 1's left. Now we're moving to our 10's. We have our 4 10's. How many do we need to take away? 3. So I'm going to take 1, 2, 3. How many do I have left? Right, 1. So 56 minus 37 equals 19. All right, let's do one more. So again, we're representing our number that we're starting with. So we're starting with 23. So I have my two tens 
and my 3 once. But when we get started, I have 3 minus 8. But do I have enough here to take 8 away? No, I only have 3. So we need to borrow a group. So we need to take this group of 10, and we need to move it over here with our 1s. So all I'm doing is separating those groups of 10 into 10 1 cubes. So it's no longer a group of 10. It's all by itself now. Now before we get started, we have to fix our problem up here. We no longer have two tens, we only have one ten. And we don't only have three ones now, we have how many more when we added our ten more? See, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it's no longer a three, it's a thirteen for our ones. So now we can start subtracting. We have 13 minus 8. So how many of our 1's do we need to take away? All right, we need to take away 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So how many 1's are left? All right, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we're ready to move on to our 10's. We have 1. We need to take how many away? 1. So if we take that away, we're left with 0. So you can either put the 0 here, or if you want, you can just keep it as your answer is 5. So 23 minus 18 equals 5. I want you to try the same thing with using your base 10 blocks. So you're going to try 45 minus 38, 52 minus 14, 15 minus 9, and 71 minus 41. Or 48 and again you need to the top number is what is represented so 45 we have four tens five ones and then before you subtract five minus eight you can't do that so you need to remember to borrow you take your group of ten and then move it to the side can't wait to see your hard work